Hey, yeah. Welcome back, Lady Bergato. I know many people only available. Yeah, yeah. Well, but thank you. Well, oh, I think regardless. Well, we were trying to free up stock just in case. What do you expect's gonna happen? Uh, Oh, the dab. Oh, yeah, the dab. I, I actually do have a very powerful weapon indeed. I'm surprised that people are I'm surprised by it. They like to join the squad. We want to get to die. Be trained of life. Between you, him, and uh, Panda, who I only have added because uh, uh, for the stuff, he's really friends here. So. The final stretch. Oh, what in the world is going on over there? The time is now. Please. Time to explain. There is no time. Yeah, turn around. I know. That was what happened, wasn't it? Oh well. Congratulations, travelers. You have squatted your way into our hearts. <laughs> I didn't feel like that there was a squatting question, but... They barely do it when coffee is around, but... Uh... It's, it started with him and Cell, but now everyone just kind of gets rid of it. And this guy cheats! This little rat cheats! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're the best at squatting. Yeah, you're the best at squatting. It is time for tonight's event. Oh. Kindly gather around where you can hear. I think you're in front of the hypercube. Increase the voice. Oh. <laughs> you... By the way, one of the board is ready. Sorry, sorry. Welcome. <laughs> Apologies. May I ask for your silence for just a moment? <laughs> Now that the newcomers that are here for the first tour that they've ever experienced are thoroughly scared, surprised. Yes, this is absolutely normal for the rendezvous. Laughing? Hell yeah. Chaos, anarchy, and Yeah. Chaos. My friends, it seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and a wholesome team effort. Welcome to the Rendezvous, our point of contact to the narrative domains. Tonight, we will be telling the story of the pilot. You are welcome to stream and or record this event. In a moment, I will open an invite plus portal to the world of the pilot. Please, at this time, make sure you are friends with someone else here in case you disconnect and need to be invited back in. You are welcome to add us tour guides, Trajim, Rendizo, or myself to assist with this. I'll give you just a moment to do this.
we did it, so we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. It's it's yeah. homeboy. We did it. I need it. Yes. Oh, I'm on my Where is my mirror? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, oh, my friends. The portal will now be placed yeah, that that from this room. Those of you standing in front of me, kindly move aside. Hey, hey, I'm Once the portal drops, please do not enter until I give the signal. We must wait for it to stabilize. I think my kid genuinely thought I was the dad. He's trying to get life signal from me. Ooh, stable. Oh my god. I believe the portal stable? is stable. What? My friends, please enter. Yes. Onward. Hey! The portal's been stabilized. Yes. You like it? Yes. I am. I'm just really you. hoping that we actually, yeah, yeah. We actually make it. Make it, make it, make it on the I just know. Is it a good ending? Yeah. Well, then, we'll yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Just very close. We're yeah. so extremely yeah. close. Fair enough. We're so right, we're extremely close. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Well, the fire. I mean, that's good what we said last time. time. Oh, yeah, oh, that's what we said the last time. Yeah, but we have, we have <laughs> process of... <laughs> we have process of elimination. There's a chance we lose this time. Right. Like, okay. 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 There is a chance. Uh, but let's not think really about really that, because that. let's try to get <laughs> it. Wrong with manifest you the good ending. I mean, for some bad. bullshit I'm like that. Yeah, I'm going to tell it happens. Uh, who's it? So, I think what's it? Um, I think the last step, I think we have to use the Ether Amplifier. But I don't know what Ether Amplifier does. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I have a horrible memory, so I don't remember anything of what Sword it does. So I'm hoping that I'm not caught up on this one. I mean, as far as that somebody else can spare you. I don't know. I I had my suggestion last time, and my suggestion was you alone. What was your question? Yeah. Uh, uh, while we're here, you had some say about my journals. You've been wanting to say something about my journals from there. Things keep happening. Ah, I see. Yes. I believe. Yes. Things that you've sent, but the beginning I quite enjoyed. I'm gonna have to refresh myself. A lot has happened. I apologize. Yeah, um, right. and tell me when you refresh yourself because I do have new entries, but I won't put them in yet. I want you to catch up first. Uh, new entries? Sure. Yeah. I'm screaming in your face while shaking you! It's not a biography, it's just a straight up journal of my current events. That's what I've been going through. I'm just doing that super fast because we really know my bad memories. You know. Tesla suit was at CES. Huh? Why didn't you see that? Well, by bad memories, I mean Tesla like, suit. Bad memory. Things like oh, that. Yes. Maybe it was a private Who knows? It could be bad memories. I don't know if they're bad or good. It's it's. I'm trying to figure that out myself. Yeah. For now, we've got.
What if they're oh, uh, neutral this oh, this I oh, there's that the too. That's a, so far. That's a possibility. So this will be well, my yeah. first time it in this one. Bad. Not bad, Norger. A first timer. Welcome. You're gonna love this one. I I'm going to do my best to give you a performance that you'll never forget. When you stop stumbling, don't worry. Right. I didn't, I didn't know she would show I didn't know My friends, welcome to the world of the pilot. This place has been constructed in order to give an experience like none other. An experience of a story that we can observe, walk through, listen to. Please make sure your world music is turned up to a comfortable level. You should be able to clearly hear the wind. Music is an important part of the story. Well then, my friends, thank you for coming tonight, and welcome to the story of the pilot. Enough talk. Everyone, please click the yellow save point. Tech nerd, tech nerd, tech nerd. Pretty nice house. Tech nerd. Turn your music on. I want to hear the music on the tour when I watch the recording. You have the perfect You cannot you know the beat the spider. You'll be fine. Can you say hi to my friend who's watching the tour as well? Pilot the world is My friends, the story begins. Oh, okay. Last time I did, I got a copyright strike. That happened. Oh, yikes. Let's do a volume check. Everyone, am I loud enough? Yes. Yep, for me anyway. Yep. Not for me. There we go. To me, you are. Indeed. Perfect. All right. As with any tour in the real world, kindly stay with me and be silent during narration. However, as we walk from place to place, please feel welcome to talk. In fact, I ask you to. Working together is the only way to the good ending. Yes. Between the forest and the countryside, there sits a lone house. And in this house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out of her bedroom window and her imagination soars. She wonders about the faraway exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes and she can see them. Beautiful cities filled with waterfalls and white birds. Majestic mountains capped by clouds so soft one could fall asleep on them. She wonders and she wonders until the sun sets and crickets fill the air. In her mind, the scene shifts to the front door. She pictures her father finally coming home. She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. Her heart flutters as she opens her eyes expectantly. The sky is purple. The path outside is empty. She was wrong. He hasn't come home. She shoves the curtains across and turns from the window. Oh dear. My friends, let's go inside and see if she's all right. <sighs> All right. How I have to ask. To I gotta ask. How tall is the kid anyway? Oh, hey, look. Is the, is the, is the child? Uh, no. Somewhere between Get two off, feet and eight feet. You tall. know what's supposed to return here? Eight feet. That's an acceptable answer. I'm lagging so hard right now. I'm lagging so hard right now. I can't understand anyone what's saying. Wait. Safety settings. Move. My friend, if you're lagging, try Ow. turning off avatars of everyone here, except the tour guides, of course. The story continues. I'm trying, but, it, but the lag won't let me. The young girl trudges through the dark house. The kitchen is empty. Her mother has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind. Wisp of mist brushing by. The gentle rush of cool air in her ears. 
the deep thrum as she passes through clouds, the land far below her, everything cast in radiant golden light. Then the sky knocks. No, not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground as she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is, finally home. She lets out a cry of joy and a bit of sadness. Her father picks her up and holds her tightly. <laughs> Whoa, is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is comforting like the clouds she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. Her mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. <laughs> I'll always come back, he says. He takes out a sealed bottle of capsules from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon, the house is filled with the warm glow from the fire, the sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast, and the little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asks her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go together and listen to father's story. This way. Ah, delicious penguin. Uber. I'm lagging so I hard right great now. Power in this position. I don't turn. want to turn off models. Everyone looks so pretty. Turn off ah, your yes. models. Boop. He likes to be tall. Or just turn, turn off, off certain, no certain models. ones. Turn off certain ones. With me. <clears throat> Safety settings, performance. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm really uh, enjoying this. Boop. Maximum awesome. avatar download size. Wait, wait. Get a plus again? Uh, no, you want performance boop. level. Boop. Yes, my okay. first time being here. Okay. Check Where my description. Sorry, being in the start. Oh, bring us. That's... What did you want to tell me before, J-Man? The young girl jumps into bed, and the father and mother sit either side of her. The father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit the story, the pilot would be on a new adventure. But each time, a few themes remained the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with their legendary ship, and wherever they go, they meet new friends who need their help. The odds would be stacked against them, but thanks to their trusty legendary ship, the pilot always saves the day. The girl remains awake till the very end, and then the father asks, as he does at the end of every story. <laughs> so, why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. Because it's the good thing to do. The mother and father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, the girl asks if, when she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to help people like the pilot. Of course, the father says. You'll be the greatest pilot. And someday, you'll save the day, too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for their daughter. My friends, let's go back downstairs and let her sleep. This way. Get over just how cute that phone product is. There's a portal there. <laughs> and he's opened up her inventory screen. Boop. Unless that's me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the L pod. <laughs> I am the Sayu pod now. Still, I'm booping you. This is the, the mother. The mother and father sit together in the living room. 
She asked him if he did what he sought to do and if he was tracked. He says the same thing he always does. Of course not. He was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights and is about to go into the tendency for the military to turn a blind eye to a certain amount of excess cargo when she stops him with a finger on the lips. She reminds him that she knows all of this already. He laughs. He gets one more detail in. She will always know when anything is approaching thanks to the radar he stole. If a military vessel gets near, it will notify her. She nods, and she knows this already. So they both decide that it's a topic for another time. Her husband is home again, and she missed him dearly. And so, they go to bed. The mother is woken suddenly. It's the father. He's talking about something on the radar headed for the refugee camp. She rubs her eyes, confused. I have to go, says the father. I have to get them out. She doesn't understand. She pleads for him not to leave again, still not sure what exactly is happening. She suggests that it's just a scout or an error. No. No. The father says, and his voice frightens her. Look at the radar. The mother looks, and her heart drops. The signal is enormous, the largest airship she's ever seen, and it's headed directly for the rebel camp off the radar's edge. That's, she begins, but her voice falters. Yes, says the father. The dark monument airship. Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything. From Eternic to the Aquavi Islands, the death toll from all of those places was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after, and to this day, nothing grows there. Hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns, it doesn't matter. Nobody is safe from this thing. Sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were, until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside and dims and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistant ships won't make it in time. I can outrun that abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms, and he takes hold of her fingers. She's trembling. I was the same as them. A refugee on the run, remember? And then you rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more, and the mother and daughter are left alone. A year has passed. The father has not returned, and the daughter has just turned six. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. Every night she waits by the radar, staring at the night sky. Tonight her daughter is with her, and together they watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radar all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, 
turns off the radar and holds her for a while. She puts her to bed and promises that she will sleep on time. She closes her door and goes back downstairs. The mother turns the radar on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're here. A loud voice screeches. Attention, attention. This area is under martial law by order of the Grey. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She changes through channels, but it's everywhere. It's in her head. How? She presses her hands against her ears, but... Then she looks at Radar, and she sees it. It's already over the forest. The cursed ship is here. But why? No, she doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before a banging sound echoes from the ground floor. The sound of splintering wood terrifies them, and they run toward the outside balcony. Quickly, my friends, this way. And you do an amazing jump. Come on, come on, get down, get down. Come on. Play Nico Nico kneecaps. I will, I'll break your Nico Nico kneecaps. I'll lick yours. Oh, lick your kneecaps. I'll lick them. Oh, my God. All right. Here we go. You see that? Oh, this is the tall one, too. Lick your kneecaps. Walk away from my kneecaps. I'll lick them. God damn it. I don't have my reach today. I did a free man. You've got to learn how to land. You failed the superhero landing. I did a 360 while doing so. I'm a cat. I don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Just having friends. Oh. My friends, the story continues. Okay, you can have your wrench. It's just a smoke <laughs> bark. You can touch your head and tell you it's gonna You're be right. all better. Who are they? The story continues first. Cries the little girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through a broken rib, but her daughter is safe. She stands and looks around. The entire forest is in flames. They must have detected her. No. There. A path through the walls of fire. It's the only way. My friends, over here. Oh, that was fast. Oh, boy. This part bling, is bling. Not just yet. <laughs> yeah. She struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then the mother looks up, and she sees it. Its horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. The airship creeps slowly, unstoppably toward them. She places her daughter on her feet, kneels to look her in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get her words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The little girl stammers, with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it, the mother cries. Take my hand, and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her hand tight, and they run. Her heart's racing, the fire is unbearably hot, and the smoke scrapes in her throat. My friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted, and are now pursued by the Dark Monument. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest, and so must all of you, as this is your first quest. Find the end of the forest, make it out alive, and run as fast as you can. Click the pressure save point to begin. Don't forget to jump over the fire. Let's go. I know the path. Follow the right. 
Apparently, yeah. It's a race, 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 it's a race. Damn it. Oh. Nino. <laughs> we got this. Imagine being caught up. Damn it, bro. Imagine actually. Yeah. Remember when that was like, oh, uh, well, I had the I best run it. I've done in oh, hey, Ruby. Hey, huh. since I started. <laughs> Alright. Why are you so slow, slow? Why are you so Much better slow, than my first right? run. Why are you so slow? Okay, so... uh, Before they changed the color of it. Are so okay, you alright? Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> I did better. Maneuvering. I got a bit burned, but thanks to this armor, I'm actually I, very yeah, resistant I, to those. I, thanks to me, yeah, second to register. That was awful. I'm just used to it at this point. It made me wonder if I was coming. First try! Did you mess up? No. Actually, oh, I mean, I did one time, but I was not expecting uh, that. Right, well. I'm getting more fat by fat. Alright, CJ. I'm oh, not stuck. Uh, the mushroom is the only thing that heals me up to hang down in the middle of the world. What's the most true? I didn't expect Good. We decided to not work. No, I'm sitting on. I think I'm sitting on robot. I was the second guy. I'm gonna shoot you with the healing Yeah, I know. This is weird. I don't know if there's another seat that's available. I feel I'm literally spinning around. I don't think so. This after I have one. Oh wait, you're sitting on top of robot. At least now in my ashes. Healing up from that. Don't think it's just the life of the party. Oh god. Oh, oh yeah, it's dangerous. Yes. Uh, yes. Keep on doing it. Woo! This is like a roller coaster ride. Wait, if I spin, if I spin you too. Wait a minute. Oh, Robotic, I'm I have an idea. A dust in the air. Hold up, I'm turning my cloning on. Oh, we're stacking? Uh, Come here, robotic. robotic. Uh, Alright, Kirby, can you hop up? The guy running around oh, I'm gonna hop on top of Robotic Kirby. and it'll be another seat. Always a good way to lighten the mood, dude. That's oh, the there we go. Now we have a nice seat. Yeah, exactly. Perfectly appropriate for the situation. Don't stop me now. I'm Goose Shadow Demons and I'm Pink Mermaid. Yeah. Right here. Right here. That's a neat up here, yay. And the spider uh, person. <laughs> we can get Alizu up here if he, if he hops up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, jump off quick and then have other people stack on top of the purple avatar. Yes, I will be the top. I can reach. <laughs> the heck? What the heck? <laughs> what just happened? learned how to fly. That's how you fly with it. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, I think like Protag might be oh, possessed. We're almost here. Oh, oh no. It's fine. Have patience. Probably. We're over here playing in blocks oh, with okay. characters. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> how many do the we have stacked up right The great purple tower. Checking both of you. Enough. I think it's the show. You guys only... It's three, never enough. Three, four. Five. Five. Four. You got five on you right now. Oh, yeah, five. 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 <laughs> Join us, we must do the most act. Join. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my cloning on. Uh, I don't think he can sit on Kirby, so... Tell you what, yeah. he can be uh, People can sit on me, though. Do that, but also... <laughs> Hold on. I'm on your avatar. Just to Yeah, there you go. Jake, I can't, yeah. I can't meet you. Yes. I don't want to go. I can't reach. This is a high screen. I obey your attention. Dearest traveler. Let me join. Let me join. Dearest wholesome. Let me join. Crispy burnt travelers. I beg your attention. The story shall now continue. Well, I'm back. This is a new Welcome back, recording. my friends. Hey. They made it. The mother and daughter have made it somehow. They walk, and we follow this way. 
Walk this way, friends. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, God, not again. Walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. God damn it. Run out, run out. I'm so My friends, gather around the fire, or where you can hear me clearly. The story continues. I didn't know they had those. A long time later. Shh. This is the perspective. The mother and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent, an old campfire, and a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas, the leaves of the trees, and the water surface. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chill soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. The rain masks the tears and she soon sleeps. The mother, however, does not, and keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a faraway place. A dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please use the nightmare save point. Hey. Oh my gosh. Time for the spooks. Oh jeez. I recommend you not be small the whole time. I'm on top of you. Oh my god. Yeah, they are trying to crash me there. Switching avatars. The noi. I don't recommend yeah. existing. Not I'll be the traveler from Journey. At this time. Existing is boring. Hmm? I mean, I could cheat. I don't want to. What'd you say? <laughs> existing is not bad. I don't want to. I don't want to. That's not fun. Friend, and... We're yeah. in a nightmare, so. Hopefully you're a brave. <laughs> My friends, no, your attention please. Probably not. Tonight's NPCs, please come forward, stand next to me, and change into your searchlight avatar. I need to pick up this one. I have the other one. I'll have to do it some other time. At this time, please turn on your searchlights and show them to the tour group. Everyone, can you see Luna and uh, Ether Memento standing next to me in their searchlight avatars? Yes, um. I. Mm -hmm. I can. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Fucking perfect. beautiful. My friends, a figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick, the floor is a solid void, and the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. The unknown figure looks about, barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was searching for something, perhaps, they think. There are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted, drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They must find a way out, and so must all of you, as this is your next quest, travelers. Listen carefully. Search for a way through the darkness, and avoid these monsters and their searchlights at all cost. Getting caught in a cone of light will fracture the girl's hope and you will hear thunder crash. If you are caught, keep moving. 
through the dark, she dreams for you. NPCs, at this time, take your place in the nightmare. Shit, we won't have an audio cue. We might. Wait. Oh, shit. Travelers. All right. <laughs> Through the dark, she dreams for you, and your quest begins now. Go forth, travelers. Stealth mode. Oh, Jesus. Yo, I'm going with you. I'm going with you, Gio. That was close. Come on, come on, come on. Be around. Oh shit! No. And there it goes. Damn. Speedrun tactics. Dream speedrun. <laughs> Found it! Someone found it. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't see. Uh. Okay. Another tribute has fallen. See you guys are tired. It's good to sing them, man. Take it away, Protag. Where's my car seat? Where's my mac and cheese? When I said drive me into the river, Bob, I didn't think you would take it seriously. You know. Yo, this is a British hey, camper. Wait, do a burnout. Oh, can... Who's got the aux cord? This sucks. <laughs> Come on, turn better music on. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. I'll plug it in for you. No. Uh, I'm thinking like the some cord. music from Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross. Uh, um, I have the aux cord cell. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame I'm not going to give it to you, though. Also, make sure to look at You know who else drives a BR? Uncle Grandpa. my guy. Good morning. Oh, you're not in the shower. Not looking at anything. I'm just looking at your table. I'm so small that I can't even see where I am. And now you are looking directly at me. Oh, Never mind. At least invite me to dinner or something first. No, I'm surprised. We'll continue. Although I ran smack into Ninpin and Thrill. <laughs> like I literally fell through a wall and there they were. Where's oh. Rendisa? The girl. Hey, Rendisa. Wakes herself up, screaming in the dark of night. Her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, the mother comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but she struggles to speak through her trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare, not to worry. The daughter tries to go on about how the person in her nightmare was searching for something, but her voice is shaking too much. The mother interrupts, telling her it was not real. She's safe now. Together they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, 
revealing a morning sun, shining like a golden orb between the parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. Uh. Surely, clues to the Ethos Coalition are there. The mother checks the sky. Clear for now. My friends, this way. Alright, hold on, I'm, I'm still grabbing my campfire. Well, race, yeah. I say, good job on, ev on evading the nightmares. Yay. I live in the eternal nightmare. This nightmare is nothing compared. Wow. So, Shell, tell us a little more about your eternal nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in it. I'm in it. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? I'm literally at 80% speed right now. Yahoo! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm what? sorry, it came so fast. <laughs> It was perfect. Yes, yeah, so the entire so place so is just to yeah, 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 find the so location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Where's my neck? Where's your neck, though? So? Deep dive. No, no, no. I was going to say, it is a bullshit. It's a bullshit. Harder. Our label. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. She came out of nowhere. So, no. Oh, my fucking God. This girl. You like the girl. Yeah. This is a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Run, Anyways, the cube. You can't kill me. Yeah. 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 Cease from going on, at least for a little while. There's a time and place for that. And we'll be there soon. My friends, your attention, please. The story continues. The story continues. I want to shut the fuck up, back then. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the town of Shade mode so I can fly. is a small, busy, unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City. First, she needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky and tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. All of you must explore this town of shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory. You must return here within five minutes. Before the time is up, you will hear a bell to signify it is time to return to this spot in front of the end. Please do not be late. And friends, the sky is clear for now. Good luck. For those well, in VR, to open the menu, oh. you stand up and press the menu button. Be run. Pick up by the oh <coughs> oh, okay. Alright, say your day. Follow me. I know there's a knife in here. I think I thought there was a knife in here. I'm gonna buy myself a big old yeah, I'm gonna shotgun. You can go inside.
That looks like a funny bottle. It's not a funny bottle. I know there are a lot of. You get off before my turn. Uh... Flavors, Don't put Six. words in my mouth. Right time out, time out, time out. Wait, do you about say about seven? seven? seven. <laughs> yes. The clock tower is going to go off, what do you mean? Oh god, oh and fuck, not this again. Don't be on the speaker. Wait, time out. 6.66 6. 6. 6. is about seven. Like a lot of Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. You know my dude, my name is in the credits for the world. Steven, I love taking things. Oh, it comes to the end of the well. I found a bunch of stuff, but I probably didn't find enough. Oh, no, not at least your inventory. Pepperoni and sausage. Who knows? Okay. Oh, just a moment, friend. Play it, old man! Hold your hand up and you press either the air key and I'll show up a little bit. My friend, the story continues. No, I didn't Time has expired. Well done. It seems like we're bucked. Hopefully, you all found what they need. The innkeeper tells the mother the room is ready. This way, my friends. Where's the toilet? Uh, a bathtub stream.
the bomb. The spider that you see midway through your shower. I've had a bit see, of a, bit of a <laughs> thought. Oh, the toilet from the Sims. It's yeah. a bit yeah. of a weird yeah. one, yeah. but. So, at the entrance sequence, yeah, apparently the father so managed to be and they removed the toilet into you don't the, need a toilet. Into uh, the uh, every function in the bathtub if you try hard enough. <laughs> Please? That's yeah, you don't want to. That's why. You, 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 oh, right. you can piss, you can shit. You can kill my problem. My friend, your attention is being hit. Oh, God, weird. Dear Strahler. I think they're having a bathtub street. Pizza ordering bathtub. Occupying travelers, <laughs> I beg your attention. <laughs> My sincerest <laughs> apologies. Hot tub travelers. Hot tub travelers. Now there's a weekend special I'd subscribe to. My friends. The two. The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting the small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag, but she's unsure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key to view your inventory. If you're in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press your menu or jump button. I will now call out travelers to choose one item the daughter will carry. If you do not wish to give an answer, you may pass. And you may also consult with the group for help if you like. But remember, the choice is yours. Yeah. Let's see. Wee baby. Me, me. I don't want them once. I got a pretty first aid split. Kirby, 999. Yay! That is true. I don't believe you've ever chosen an item. Kirby, what is the first nope. item the daughter will carry? Hmm. Well, looking at this long list of items that I have, I think I'll choose... TIA Director's Code. TIA Director's Code. TIA Director's yes! Code. <laughs> Wait, second that was changing last time. Scarf, a legendary Actually, it provides quite the defense and attack bonus, and even more of an intelligence bonus. This coat belongs to the director of the TIA, the Travelers Intelligence Agency. An organization that you can learn more about by asking around at the bar in the after party. Ooh. Now for the second item. Fuzzy Dice 777. Seven, seven. May I ask you, what is the second item the daughter will carry? I was worried for a sec, and I felt your gaze shoot across the room directly at me. <laughs> but, uh, let me, let me see. <laughs> No pressure. Uh, no pressure. 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 pressure, 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 pressure. Dice, you are the chosen one. I mean, I, yeah. I got the sevens well. in my name. I feel like it's appropriate to say good luck charm. I hope you <laughs> recorded that little bit that I did. Humble brag. The good luck charm. Ah, an interesting item. Yes, Kirby. It does quite the mysterious thing in another story in another world. In the L. Nido Islands. Hmm. Now for the third item. Let's see. Dark Star Gemini. What will the daughter carry for her mother? Wait. Hammer's Choose your sword. item. I... Oh. Apologies, I didn't hear. Hammer's last sword. Hammer's last words. 
Yeah. <laughs> ah, Hammer. Um, he was a bro uh, to us I'm all, a... as he'd like to say. Uh, <laughs> 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 a supplier, <laughs> as he liked to call himself. Hmm? Hammer was a true friend. So you tell me I should keep going like this? Yes. All right, I see. The daughter chooses the TIA director's coat, the good luck charm, and Hammer's last words. Very well. The story continues. This is gonna work. Don't think it. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding. But she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds, painting the buildings with a soft pink light. The daughter jumps up on the bed, cuddles up to her mother, and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we going to stay here? She asks. I want to go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where Daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep, so you can walk with me tomorrow. You need to sleep too. The little girl nudges her and place a hand, places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. The feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother breaks into a heartwarming smile. You already are, my angel. Daddy says you're a good luck charm, as though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling, but there's nobody there. The mother laughs. Mm-hmm. The daughter squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart too? She puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in. And her answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep within minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we all sleep, for what is good never lasts. Please, use the nightmare save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. <laughs> Showtime. Alright. Whoa. Oh, right. Whoa. Alright. You will pass this sacred what's hyper the what's the middle? You will fall into an Oh, I feel like I'm abyss. moving. The floor? Yeah, I hate this floor. <laughs> I feel like I'm moving and I'm not even moving. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like Save the world, listen, my final message. I know. I did that. I'm not going to I think you have so many lives. Can you stop it anyway? Throwing them away. You alright? Nobody ever listens. I could try to do this. 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 Off yourself by jumping into the abyss, because the abyss will just throw you right back. My friends, listen carefully. The abyss doesn't want you. Attention, tonight's NPCs. Please, come stand next to me. Everyone give them some space. Tonight's NPCs. Please, change into your dream eater avatars. And show the group. Oh. oh no! It's a lazim. Oh man! Tonight's NPC. 
<laughs> at this time. Pull up Spider Man. Spider Man meme. Spider Man meme. <laughs> yes, at this time, please take your place in the nightmare. Damn it, I didn't get it! The scariest Travelers, listen carefully. Ether immediately falls. See, they're all amateurs. This is how you it. jump into the abyss. You do. Friends, <laughs> there's plenty of time later to jump into the abyss. It's serious mode now. Once more, yes. the unknown Very figure serious. becomes aware. The air is colder, but their vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. Yes, they are here for a reason. The figure thinks in silence. What am I searching for? Why can't I remember who I am? Glancing back over their shoulder, they see only a swirling shadow, and it evokes a sense of unholy dread. Something is following. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. This time, there are no monsters to avoid, but instead, a pair of dream eaters block the exit. Find the path that gives you hope. Gather around the dream eaters at the end, and together, kindly, be silent, and listen to their spoken trial. Try your best, as a group, to give the correct answer. Your quest begins now. So anyways, we're gonna punch your friends. And so now we're all just going to go in completely random directions. I'm going to read these for once. I haven't read these for I must follow the rat. Always I do the best. Just stick to the best that gives you hope. I'm going to do this backwards. I'm totally not going to fall off. Oh, this would be good. And... Hold up, hold up. Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man meme. Spider Man time. Uh, I'm good. Spider Man. Oh, that is very cool. I would Hello, Cheshire. Oh, he won't do it. Today? He's not going to do it. Check on the two elevator operators. The dream enter <laughs> is a bold move. Oh, action! Action! I'm sorry. sorry. Okay. I mean, I could do a true dream eater, but it's too big. This could be us, Eddie. <laughs> but you okay. you being a little bitch. Don't even share our best friends. Aha! I'm a pro! I did it all backwards! Hi, Batman. You know, I like- I actually like just oh, watched Venom 2. Yeah. I prefer doing the any percent speed run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 The Dream Eater is uh, eliminating yeah, with her avatar. Yeah. Hmm. There is always the slow one of the group. Side of me. <laughs> I blame hey, you. Yeah, I you blame you. And there's the suicidal one. I believe we met before, haven't we? Oh, well, here comes Joe. Pardon? Never mind. Oh, we're three people inside each other now. Like... Mm. Are we all here? Yes. Seems to be. Yes. Give us a riddle, Dream Eaters. I'm partially right. I present your challenge. I crawl without limbs. I fly without the wings. Give me scrutiny. I am halcyon tranquility. Avert thine eyes. It is you I will pass by. What am I? What am I? Hmm. Everyone, what? be yes. silent. Could you repeat that, for please? For the next, Trajan will post it in VR Traveler's chat. Be silent while you think of an answer to the riddle. I believe it is me. <laughs> 
Could you could you repeat that? Sham chicken Discord. I'm not sure if I heard you properly. I'm sorry. Treasure will write it. Let's see. It's in the I Discord. Crawl check this one more time. I crawl without limbs. I fly without <laughs> wings. Give me scrutiny. I am halcyon tranquility. Avert to thine eye. And it is you I will pass by. What am I? My first I? thought was time, but the scrutiny part is throwing me off. I don't know. I still think it's time. Because time flies by, time crawls, and when you don't pay attention to it, time flies yeah, by. Yeah, I think it's time. 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 It's the past is far behind the us. The future doesn't us. exist. What is the time? It's Scrub. time. Time to take a bath. Well, it's time for drink. Scrub, scrub, to the water, Brown. And now it's time for VR. You have a lot of time. <laughs> Why does everyone know the Yo, spy Maybe kids running out of time. It, it's <laughs> gotta come to the water, bro. You know, it's gotta be the water, though. It's gotta be the water, though. It's yeah. dumb, no, but I kind of like the fact it that the villain is. Basically... The I like what the villain is in his henchman. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like time is Your our time best. Your time is bad. running out. <laughs> Do you have an answer? Time. Yes. The answer yes. is time. Time. The world. Time. 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 So, so do -do 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 -do. time is the answer. Are you Hopefully. sure? It's a cool fucking avatar, bro. Yes. Are, are we sure? Yeah. I'm, I'm at least. Yes. I'm not sure of anything. I bet Black flames life on it. That's I'm, I'm going with majority <laughs> rules. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm never sure of anything. Done. Your doppelganger. You bested us uh. yet again. Hey. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. That's my life. God damn it! I, I expected it. Yeah. Yeah. I told this. For now. <laughs> you have done well. May your fates. Be certain. Are you just setting up? All right. The next one. You have void soup. See you, dream eaters. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> Give us our reward now. Even in the mind of someone else. <laughs> hey, patience. Oh, yeah. Quite, quite literally. <laughs> Goodbye, dream eaters. <laughs> The story continues. The fuck? I can't tell if that's a kazoo or a motorcycle. My friends. Who am I inside? Congratulations. You've answered the riddle correctly. An artifact appears. What's up, man? It shines your face like a jewel. A fist bump. That's, that's my... Abandoned okay, at the bottom of an ocean. A teardrop broken in half. Shed by... Someone left behind. Someone split in half. Someone alone. For years. At the bottom of the sea. Perhaps a mermaid? Perhaps not. My friends, the mermaid tear appears. This is my tear. Yay! There's a lot. Yours? You cry some more so that way you get you more of a voice suit, please. Slurp. Uh, cry. <laughs> you have an evil you see? My friends, what? the unknown figure passes can, between the strange nightmare manifestations <laughs> and enters a new space. There comes the scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into shadows that feel distant. And a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in an abyss, majestic and imposing, as the person perceives more and more of it. Its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night. And there it waits, motionless, expectant. It's time to wake up from this nightmare. Oh, I just realized what that is. My friend. <laughs> use the blue save point. Oh, well, I'll take it. I could use some medical Bye. supplies. Oh, dang it. Chapter, new chapter. 
Yeah, well, so too late. Uh, I've got to. I've got to pack up. Tear. I was about to say, it's like no, not the mermaid tear, the, the, the thing in the thing in the dream. How are you? I found this avatar <laughs> randomly in the world. <laughs> actually, <laughs> has a back shader on it. I think I know what you mean. Who's Mega? Um. That's factory metal gen. Okay, like oh, no, 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 Where is the Ragnaros? I think they're here. I think my teeth are here. One second. Come out the wrong place. Alright, my friends. Everyone's in here. Oh, Ready to go. I think someone's hiding up in OnlyFans. You don't run away. I am selling my Sayu, my patent pending Sayu Pune bathwater. OnlyCubes.com. I'm inside a bathroom. Now good time for the whole room to go silent and hear that. My friends. The girl is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor. We have to go. Get dressed. We have to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about her nightmare, about how she knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented. It hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following us. The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed and pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. Don't look at it. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama is going to protect you, but we have to leave. Now. The world comes down around them. Everyone, this way. That vase better not be added onto our bill. Well, after this. Is this what I've always been missing? Hey. Go ahead, follow the grape. Don't wait for me. You take another left. Ah, he gets it. Oh my god, they killed him! Give him to me! The ability to live on the left dead. Get in the robot, Shinji. Alright. Okay, it dies like every day. I'm sorry, let's go. Get in the robot, Shinji. Stop it. Cat CPR, let's go. You and Shinji here, right? Protag dies. Well, we lost Protag again. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. It worked. Why? Okay. You have to take better care of yourself. Everyone, I have an announcement. Check for your traveler's chat for a document. That will help us in the next session. Section. Also, subscribe, subscribe to the only fans. I don't, no, I don't think I will. My friends, your attention, please. The story will continue. The threat? With daughter in tow, the mother makes her way to the town exit opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt! A large soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. The mother states they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs away. I said halt. The soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. With his eyes on the sky, 
the soldier reaches for his comms, preparing to notify command of his discovery. The mother must think fast, and so begins your next quest, travelers. You have 30 seconds to decide as a group which of the three options to choose from. Attack, Attack. defend, or mother's instinct. Attack! Get that Attack. motherfucker! Attack! Attack! Attack. What the hell? You need a tissue. <laughs> Misfit is <laughs> popping Maybe. off over there. <laughs> I have numerous <laughs> tissues on me. For mm. God. Thank you. Uh, uh, I don't I also want to ask why. why. Because he's prone to get shot I, by anyone. I don't think I want to ask why you have so much. Silver bullets in his ass. No, no, I'm prone to shoot anyone. I have a, a very, very common allergy. <laughs> but to everything, the chances of survival though. Five, four, three, two, one. Very horrible. Zeta Fox, what will the mother do? Attack. We stand and fight. Yeah. Um. Your answer is attack. <laughs> is that correct? Yes. <laughs> With the soldier distracted and one arm occupied, she rushes him from the side. Caught off guard, the soldier raises his arms, allowing her heel to strike his unguarded torso and knock the wind out of him. He drops the calm device but catches her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. Yeah. The mother was knocked to the ground, but quickly gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her heart. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You have 30 seconds. Defend. 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 Defend, defend. defend. defend yourself. Defend. Wait, what is mother's instinct? It's the yes. mother's instincts. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I suppose I would have to be a mother to know. <laughs> Damn it. Why the fuck did it go that way? <laughs> I hear no chatter. I will assume that you are ready. Kizzy, M -M and STR, what will the mother do? Is, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> Who? Kizzy Monster. Okay. Kizzy. She reaches for a lid of a nearby crate to shield herself just in time. The bullet passes through the lid, landing deep in her upper leg, but she doesn't notice. While the soldier struggles to adjust his aim, she throws the heavy lid, striking him hard in the face. He staggers, but Captain does not fall. Furious now, he spits out a tooth and moves in close. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's keep the. Let's keep. Let's keep doing it. Huh? Hell yeah. Hey, the pineapples up there. Yeah. No, you mean the soldier yeah. raises the gun blade high, preparing for a downward strike. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You have thirty seconds. Mother's, mother's instinct. instinct. Mother instinct. Mother's, mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. It's just you. Dodge. Dodge. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Soul Dodge. <laughs> Have you ever seen oh, Dragon Ball or Bridge? What do... You didn't level up your ADP? Yes. No. Dodge! <laughs> I'll give you some ADP. No, Thank you, Big Love. <laughs> oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Big Cherry in the back. What will oh. the mother do? Um. I believe Big Cherry is mute. They don't talk. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You want to communicate? Apologies. Though? Big Cherry, is there a way you can communicate? Or shall I pass? 
What do you um, say? They're what half do you full say? body. What do you want it to They can probably communicate by movement. Well, very well. Big Cherry, please signal yes or no with your arms, waving for yes and no movement for no. Do you want to attack? Do you want to defend? Do you want to mother's instinct? Mother's they instinct move their is. Wait. Mother's no, no, instinct. They wait for, they wait for mother's defend. instinct. They wait for okay. defend. No, I yeah, saw. No, I saw them react. Defend, wait, but, wait, but, was it okay. either mother's instinct? They want. They they want no, 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 mother's no, no, instinct, right? They were mother's waiting instinct. Right after he said defend. Please, mother instinct. Mother's instinct. Wait, but then they. But then they. So. Hey, they've got right, an. So they've got an instinct, index. Yes or no. So okay. They can do up, one, two, and three fingers. Down for mother's instinct. Yes, thumbs up or thumbs down for mother's instinct. Thumbs up. Yes, yes. Thumbs okay, up. Cool. Okay. All right, there you go. Okay. Thanks, I was sorry. wrong. Mother's instinct. <laughs> All right. Success. Well done. My friends. You're fine. You're fine. She moves back toward right. the wall as he follows. You done she it. glares yeah. at him as he gets closer. <laughs> He swings down, only to find his blade stopped by the wall behind her. Sparks fly, and she takes the opportunity to spring forward, knocking him off his feet. With her weight on his chest, he is pinned to the ground. She wails on him with all her might, wishing for each next punch to put him to sleep. But it's not enough. The soldier drops his gun blade so he can grab and throw her off. He doesn't let go, and twists her left arm into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt. But the angry soldier then brings his elbow down hard, breaking her other arm at the wrist. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. That was the guitar in the song. <laughs> Witnessing all of this, the daughter screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier grabs the little girl and growls for the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. The daughter shouts, Leave us alone! Just as a blue aura erupts around her. The blue Attack. aura. What does that mean? Defend or right. mother's instinct. You have 30 seconds. Defend. Blue blue aura. Defend. We must defend. Defend. Blue defend. 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 Blue aura. Defend. Defend. Defend this point! Defense. He's fucked. <laughs> Help me get this point! Defend. Defend. What? Defend! Let us capture this! Significant damage to the soldier. How many that does making falls? it TF2 mm -hmm. reference. He's full of an incendiary grenade. Yes. This is my best defense. Everything's yes. gonna go. <laughs> Uh, I only have the salt <laughs> the rapier, so... Oh, that mother, she's a beast! <laughs> Hell yeah! Th this mother, the, the mom is a badass, didn't you know? Yeah. Well, the I mom know. is also ex-military, too, according to the lore, so... Yeah, but can exactly. you counter with it? Yeah, only, the, only, the only problem is, is for a heart condition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Damn it, Pooch and Why didn't you get here to give me the heart medicine? I'm so some broken bones now, but still... Ah, yes. She's still putting up a fight. That's fine. <laughs> she books and one doesn't kill anyone, right? <laughs> yeah. well, we need a sense of being. Fun fact: the pilot tour was, was announced like... first on Mother's Day. Oh my God! This is a hot. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, that's cool. Everyone didn't oh. either moment to a shield. No one noticed. I cried. It's crammed as many people in here. My oh, friends, no, time has expired. Oh. Oh. Pin, oh. Or is it Nin Pin? Hello there. What will the mother do? Defend. <laughs> the mother meets her daughter's eyes and shouts. Protect us! The girl squeezes her bunny doll tight. The aura explodes into a torrent of blue flames, knocking the soldier back. Too injured to react, he can only look on in fear. The daughter turns and locks eyes with him. She takes a step toward the cowering soldier and screams. The pure ether ignites into violent bolts, rapidly eviscerating his body and ending his life. Wow. Oh. 
first thing we invest Let's in this kid on the tour is therapy. If we get this good end. Play for murder. Aw, baby's first clutch. Oh my god. There's a tour quote channel, by the way. Foxy. My friends. <laughs> the mother approaches her daughter slowly. She is promptly knocked back by a wall of force. Calm down, Angel, she says. Calm down. Slowly, the aura fades, and the daughter tries to cry, but is stopped by the horror she sees in the sky. The ground shakes. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates, dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the bullet-riddled motorcycle into an upright position. She calls to her daughter to get on, but the girl stands and moving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm. The adrenaline is masking the pain for now. Together, they speed away from the inferno oh, that was the town of Shade. My friends, this way. Who is a motorcycle it's avatar? Now it's the town of it assholes. <laughs> It was the town of shade. Now it's the town of ashes. Back over here, friend. Got that Wario side beat. Go. Reverse motorcycle noises. Go. Reverse motorcycle noise. Go. Let me fix them. I can, I can do what I please. That's what, that's my power. How are you fast? I'm having to a Zeta Flock. Should carry you. I should not have been behind you. Max, that's fine. My friends. If, if flame. <laughs> yeah. The Was story that baby's first question said by Zeta Flock? Zeta Flock? Yes. Okay, good. I did what? say right. Cool. They ride for hours. <laughs> the trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out in the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We're almost there. We'll be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way. What were you doing up there? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I know we're supposed to stay up this guy, right? This guy's a lost cause. No, they got Protag! Protag's dead, again! Oh, oh no! Hey, they killed Luna. Protag! So, everyone divert your attention to Protag! Uh, again? I know it's, I know it's our oh, and Sheen. Yes. But I think this guy's a lost cause. Oh. He's obviously made his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses? Like, uh, There's quite a thrill up here. Man, I'm alive. You're really the king of those jokes. I wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. Just, just a moment, friends. We're waiting for a few stragglers. Yeah, I was fixing something. <laughs> ah, we're all here. My friends gather around. The story continues. The sky is dark. The outpost looms ahead. Various points of light moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. Oh, it ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take a rest. Wait, something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers. The mother breaks down 
She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And, and it hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is unbearable. Mama. The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the dream world together. She takes hold of her mother's shoulder. I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there, Mama. Let's go to sleep and forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here, and this poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. Her angel is losing herself. No. She has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands back up, takes back her daughter's hand. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. Dramatic reverb. That's like Ragnaros. It's like a parade of dramatic reverb. Not like the other. One of these things that doesn't belong. Dramatic reverb. That might be one of the biggest I've ever seen. I know. Is that the reverse? Good at making everything. Is that the bite of 87? Here we go. My friends, it's just part of 82. Around. The point where those the items story are important continues. That was out of character. My game's not happy oh, to be trade. Oh my god. They sneak but through the building carefully, oh, sure avoiding the patrols. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They stop and remain it's silent fresh. as two it's soldiers fresh. approach one another. The soldiers stop to talk, and the mother listens carefully. I. I'm sure you've heard, but Shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. He doesn't feel real. One soldier says with a worried tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in the region, and Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not part of its unit. Unlikely. That machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled to transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. You mean, that creepy mech nobody is allowed to go near? Yeah, rumor has it there is an ether amplifier on board. Mm -hmm. The scanners can't make sense of it. That's impossible. I, I thought you can only fit those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Well, whatever it is, I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Hey. You want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. No way. That thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. One of the soldiers has a nice accent. The mother concludes that the mech they spoke of is their only chance to leave this region. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent, staring vacantly at the wall since they have arrived. She wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. This way. Be careful by that neck. <laughs> yeah, I think you just need to dev. Don't worry, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on Zavatar. Attack on Titan yeah. time. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh, haven't seen this one. I did a bunch of them. Guys, look, it's the real Evangelion. I feel like it tastes good. Bitch, please, I'm the real Evangelion. Maybe the real Evangelion was the friend you made a lot Then what about the hospital scene? Like silly putty. What, uh, I haven't actually seen oh Evangelion, I'm sorry. No. Oh, we do not no. see the hospital scene. You are too pure. You are too pure. I was a child. 
Right, I've bitten into silly putty. I know what you mean. Exactly. Like, would you just walk up to a child and a crown and be like, "Hey, you're not supposed to do that." No, it's a dumb little kid. <laughs> well, no, no. Yeah, you my friends. You tell the child, "Hey, you see this? You see this man?" Your attention, please. The stories is about to get a little crazy. There it stands, alone. The magenta mech. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound and somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance. If there's anyone up there, please help me. No. No, I can do this myself, the mother thinks. It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her, but the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to her eye level and whispers in frustration that they need to fly this to where daddy is. The daughter backs away from her and the mech. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go now. No, it's the pilot in the dream, Mama. We need to wait for the pilot. The daughter says louder as she backs away again. Oh. Angel, please, they are going to see us. I am the pilot. And we are going to fly this to where daddy went. Get in now. No, we will be safe if we go to sleep. The daughter says louder, starting to cry. Stop, please, Angel, calm down. She pleads with her right arm outstretched. I don't want to go in there again, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring, and the daughter panics, running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, she says over and over, before fainting into her mother's arms. The sirens continue to blare, and soldiers are making their way down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, then over to the mech's open cockpit. <laughs> it is an absolute pitch black inside. My friends, listen carefully. Due to your actions during the soldier battle, and the items that the daughter has carried, the daughter is plagued by nightmares as she sleeps. The memetic sensors in the magenta mech will record her dreams, which are now available for review in the rendezvous. Please ask to check out the pilot's dream text from Trajim's library should you wish to see what happens in the daughter's nightmare. This path is now closed. It is? Hmm. Yep. What? Just never mind about the item. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Somebody remind me about to get, get that book. Oh, right. I wasn't here for that part. The path is closed because it was already That's clear, okay. correct? My friends, right. the story continues. struggles up the side of the mech, careful not to use her broken wrist directly. She manages to lift her daughter into the magenta mech's cockpit, then she climbs in with her. My friends, please click the still save point. Oh. Oh. Uh, yep. uh, I see it. Don't worry. I don't worry. see a save point. Behind you. Where is it? Ragnaros, you might be covering the save point. 
Yes, no, it's over there. there. Never I'm mind. My bad. Time for this fucking encounter. I love this encounter. <laughs> oh, this oh, is from the Minecraft, Minecraft server. It's only the second oh, time I've had this encounter. I don't see if this works. Oh. Um, what what happened to you? Oh no. I am brand new. I know what I'm doing. Yes, my chance. for a tree. We have a pilot. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be an awesome tree. We have our pilot, a giant kitty. I can't stay in this room for too long. What giant kitty? Oh my god. I'm powering you with enough ether to make sure you stay in it. Either way, ether amplifier active. To seal the deal. Just a moment, friends. A few oh more God. are making their way. Give us just a moment. Ah, we're ready. Okay, the story continues. <laughs> I wasn't lying. Uh, behind you, the mech dude, the cook. The mother secures the passenger seat belts around her daughter. She readies herself in the pilot seat and notices there are no movement controls. She places her right hand over her pounding, aching chest while frantically searching for a way to start the machine. Come on, please turn on. It can't end like this, she thinks. Suddenly, the dashboard lights up. An automated voice speaks. I wish I could be here and this Initiating startup sequence. Memetic drive connected. Scanning for contact identity markers. Negative. Unregistered pilot detected. Please input ether engine access code. My friends, you have 15 seconds to give the ether engine access code. Everyone, may I? May I do the honors? As Emerald Kazim. Emerald Kazim. <laughs> Emerald Kazim. That works too. Emerald Kazim. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Yes. No. The no. 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 Didn't I send you it? Oh, no, yeah. you sent me the one. What if the real animus code is just not our spokesperson? Uh, is this correct? I can't right now. I I no, the access code is burst link. Hmm. No, it's Guys, the veterans know what it is. Yeah, during the final Mech, we, should, we should let J Monkey be our spokesperson. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Monkey knows what on his back. Yeah, Five, trust the exploding four, penguin. Three, Your eyes have been two, sad for a while now. One. My friends, up, I've Jay heard Monkey. multiple travelers there say that they wish J Monkey to speak. Is this all right with everyone? Yes. Yes, 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 yes it is. All right, yeah. sure. J Monkey, yep. what is the Ether Engine access code? Emeralda Kassim. The daughter suddenly shouts in her sleep, speaking a name the mother does not recognize. The computer responds. Access granted. Igniting ether engine. Welcome back, holy mother. <sighs> <laughs> the magenta mech begins to levitate, initiating healing drive. The mother's heart is stabilized. Warning. Four hostile lock-ons detected. The mother's mind is shown four combat techniques. Heaven's fist. Divine impact. Holy choir storm. And grand cathedral ray. She has 30 seconds to choose. Let's go down the Literally list, any shall of we? Them. <laughs> let's just so kick their asses. This is where you Guys, get the shine. I don't know. So let's Guys, just come do it. We're, 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 we're gonna let you pick what to do. Uh, There's some random, yeah, like, like newcomers uh, pick, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, let's 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 more of a big AoE attack. Should be fun. Geo, 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 Geo,
No, it's not the pilot. I found the, God, the pilot. I've seen an episode of Time has expired. Spartan. <laughs> Spartan. <laughs> what know. will the mother do? What about this mech? Uh, kick their ass. Yes, but in what way? <laughs> Uh, That's not computer uh, options she... are. It's an actual fighting style. What's her name? Yes, oh, okay. your actions are yeah, no, Divine Impact, know. Heaven's Fist, Holy Choir Storm, and Grand yeah, Cathedral wrong. Ray. Uh, the last one sounds pretty <laughs> badass. Yeah, Sophia. Oh, Elfie. Uh, Elliot. So Grand, Grand Cathedral Ray. Indeed. <laughs> Maybe. Ellie, Ellie, um, or whatever. The Magenta Mech clasp its hands together as if in prayer. An enemy charges and swings at her head. The giant sword hits only air as her afterimage fades in place. The soldier looks up to witness his now airborne foe encased in a golden ether vortex. Mother's heart beats with the warrior's song. The wings stretch wide. She prays only to her <laughs> herself for the strength to save her daughter. The metal hands open toward all that would harm her angel. And she answers her own prayer with divine retribution unto the entire Grey Army. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> Enemies remain. Ether amplifier charge increased by 10%. There it is. Now we know. Mm, what do we know? Increased by 10%. It was unclear in previous stories. <laughs> uh, increase. Yeah, I see what you're saying. More enemies. An alert goes off in the cockpit. Warning. Eight oh, so hostile lock arms targets. detected. The Grey Army attacks. What will the mother do? 30 seconds. Choir Storm? You just did that. Let's do some nails. And it's for the, and this Newcomers get no time to shine. Yeah. 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 Might as well have variety. But yeah, let yeah. the newbies decide. But yeah, it's just give them the fun of The Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. Excellent we're choice. Do what yes. you think oh, sounds cool, because we're fucking in Wrong, so. wrong story. <laughs> I think First, fist and heaven sound, I mean heaven's fist yeah, sounds cool. I choose BFG. Heaven's fist sounds cool. Let's go with heaven's fist. 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 Let's go with heaven's uh, I don't know. Uh, do the uh punch. Wait, what is that heaven's that fist? One? Heaven's fist, yes. A good Pulse choice. Punch. <laughs> La punch. The La magenta punch. mech raises its arms skyward, and a golden lightning bolt strikes the fist. The mother moves into a warrior's stance as golden arcs crackle down the body. On the offensive, she tears into the center of their formation with the flurry of brutal combos, and ending with a thunderous uppercut, which sends the entire group flying. Enemies remain. Ether amplifier char increased by 10%. Oh, jeez. <laughs> An alert goes off in the cockpit. Warning, 12 hostile lock-ons detected. The Grey Army attacks. What will the mother do? 30 seconds. I think Divine Impact is cool. Divine Impact, then. Yes, Genshin Impact. I, say, I mean, but... Divine Impact is great. <laughs> Divine Impact. <laughs> But it is the new people's <laughs> choice. If they sign yes. Divine something Impact else, it's just cool. nursing and gadgets. Is this your first time doing this wrong? Yeah. Any other new players wish to step forward?
five, four, three, two, one. Smile, psycho. Hello. Heaven's Fist. Divine Impact. Holy Choir Storm. Or Grand Cathedral Ray. What will the mother do? Holy Choir I Storm. Oh. Alright. Uh, another, another good one. The magenta mech ascends high, disappearing into the storm above. Bright yellow lights begin flashing rapidly from within the clouds. With a loud crash of thunder, the mother rockets down from the sky, covered in golden ether bolts. Her wings mimic a chorus crescendo through the wind as she rams headfirst into the group, decimating the enemy. Enemies remain. Ether amplifier charge increased by 10%. Adar, Sen Olmen. <laughs> An alert goes off in the cockpit. Warning. 16 hostile lock-ons detected. The Grey Army attacks. What will the mother do? 30 seconds. And it, uh... Which one has the largest AoE? Well, yes. well uh, how about the... They're all pretty much even. I just name. say we should do... <laughs> Two ones we haven't done. The we don't have done is fine. They are not even. Seriously? They're not even? Not even something? They're just not even? They're just not what? even. I Both. literally can't even right the now. The Heavenly Fist or whatever it was, we took out like a bunch at once with that one. They all take they all everything. everything. Okay, yeah, so they that. all take everything. Yeah, whatever you want. You literally just pick anything. Yeah, that is it does not matter. Pick if you. they take out everyone, you will see all of them disappear. Oh. <laughs> okay, alright. Wait. <laughs> I see what you did there, Sheet. So there is an option. Great comedian we have here. Fight. Huh. Hmm. Yes, it should have seen the, the fight without the password. It's a fucking nightmare. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You feel hopeless every turn. <laughs> oh gosh. I want to see that divine impact though. We haven't tried it. Time one has expired. Fuyu Zakura. Are you there? Yeah. Tell me. Heaven's Fist, Divine Impact, Holy Choir Storm, or Grand Cathedral Ray? The choice is yours. Oh, let's do the Grand Cathedral right again. Ah. Understood. Straight vibing with the music though. For real. Oh, that's a powerful attack. All these mechs are just popping out of existence. Just... Damn, I killed them all. It took them all. Oh! 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 <laughs> the magenta mech clasps its hands together as if in prayer. An enemy charges and swings at her head. The giant sword hits only air as her afterimage fades in place. The soldier looks up to witness his now airborne foe encased in a golden ether vortex. The mother's heart beats with the warrior's song. The wings stretch wide, and she prays only to herself for the strength to save her daughter. The metal hands open toward all that would harm her angel, and she answers her own prayer with divine retribution unto the entire Grey Army. All enemies destroyed. Ether amplifier charge increased by 25%. Oh, dang. Right, that bitch! Oh, 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 oh my! 
No, you were, oh you were standing on somebody. Interesting. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's just at 55 percent charge. Is that correct? <laughs> no, Nick. That is correct. My friends, listen carefully. Stay here, Unyielding. Stay here. The mother continues her fight against the gray army as they regroup. While she continues the battle and protects the daughter. Let's exit the magenta mech. This way. All right. Tricky kid. Fist bump. It's okay. I can handle it. No, so just, just fist bump right is... now. So we... Okay, so we get four options. And if we choose the wrong one, okay. then we get 10%. Okay. If we choose... One that's supposedly You're right, we get 25%. <laughs> it's okay, all I got, all that happened was I oh, fist bumped into the, the window by a giant cat thing. Jesus I just like the word divine yeah, retribution. It's not right. Okay. Yeah. 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 It might, it has to be one enemy down, one. five up here. Okay, oh god. We gotta tell about this. <laughs> Dude, do you think that mech yeah, fight will play an important role to like the good ending? Also, I mean, because... around us, sending so, more and more uh, I do like that battle so far. The yeah. thing would be the... oh, also, we were... It was very intense. It's not the thing that I was used to. Yeah. I have to say, it's pretty enthralling. Although, something must happen to me. Seems like my wings are out. Something must have happened. I'm glad I was able to join. Oh, he's never done that yet. Don't worry, you didn't have to be in character for that one. I was literally yeah, asking the real you. My friend. Yeah. Delta from here just likes being in character. Story continues. It's alright. My, my friends left. Is. They weren't feeling well, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Gojira. That's alright. Your health is The mother important. prepares to face the next wave. I agree. When, out of nowhere, a fiery red beam strikes down from the clouds. She narrowly dodges it as the surrounding area is annihilated. She looks up through the smoke to witness the abominable airship finally show itself. Not even in this powerful mech would she stand a chance. Not without her ether amplifier fully charged, she thinks. It will shoot her down if she runs, and the soldiers block her path to attack. What does she do? Is this the end? Suddenly, an alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning. Phase space logic rewrite detected. Class 7 anomaly approaching at extreme speed. What now? The mother questions. Another ship? Not the dark this monument? This ether reading is impossible. The mother turns to check on her daughter. Safe. Asleep. What's happening? She has no time to think as she is engaged by the advancing gray army. My friends, before the sun rises, let's join the daughter in a new dream. Okay. Please Tricky use the fluttering I save point. Yeah. I apologize. No, oh, no, 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 don't go forward, 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 we're in quite, 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 quite. We're actually quite. at the end of the right My now. friends, <laughs> the story the continues. <laughs> the figure feels the ground rise to their feet. Their senses come together one by one. Aware once again. A warm light greets their eyes. The shine splits the darkness. The figure steps into it. And the cold void quietly falls away. My friends, let's follow the figure into the light. Please, 
Go ahead of me. Color changing hallway. Oh, oh, that is cute. <laughs> I'm glad it. I'm glad it didn't miss. It is it. We're at the climax. The pilot's promise. The entrance of the climax. We're at the climax. Let's see if we got it. Are you uh, fucking uh, ready? Have you seen this part, time, Luna? So let's see if I... the, climax. the pilot has a secret admirer. That's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's worth being well, a quote. You get the feeling, you you get the feeling there's a specific order we're supposed to use the moves in in the previous segment. <laughs> I'll riddle your face off, equalization! And that changed something, and previously we weren't allowed to use moves twice, I so I feel like that's just narration that's been changed. Your right. face isn't clever! All right. Dude, he's, dude, he's like the owl My in Ocarina of Time. Gather around where you can hear. You're welcome to get closer if you need to. The story okay. continues. Another worldly man. tree. Another worldly tree sits bathed under sacred white light. The figure's mind struggles to understand the infomorphic structure, perceiving it as a gate. Waiting patiently nearby, is the familiar shimmering heart. Its colors friendly, innocent, wholesome. The gate opens and the heart flutters through. The figure follows. Uh, open, open the gates! Oh, open so Oh. oh shit, I'm still playing my enemies. Oh, yeah. yeah. The crown's metal. Are y'all ready to have a good time? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. We have to right order this time. I'm hating that. We just gotta let dude do his thing. So, fidgety, what kind of base station do you have? I fit in the hangar. You get those base stations. I love. You don't have to go too in detail. I love the food of a stay placing. Machine and a planet of sorts. It's it's hard to describe. This is definitely different from that. So be ready. You have too much energy today, don't you? What's different from what? Climax. My friends, this place. The figure thinks while placing their hand on a metallic wall. They don't finish the thought, and they move quickly to explore. This way. Here we go. Who's ready for an adventure? I thought we were already <laughs> on one. <laughs> 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 no, we're oh, on a This part is awful. Adventure. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll double. Yeah, 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 I am. So, not the, not here. What? No, the dark money I wonder what you That's the supermarket. We are the supermarket. Uh, I mean, it's a big long room. I, think I mean, unless we're just in a giant manor hallway. Over this way. This way. It's a wall. Oh, Dear God. <laughs> Keep an eye on the cube. Where's the dear God? Oh, oh. we have the cube gone. Follow the hypercube. Praise the cube. It's the tesseract. Hey, where's the snack Praise bar? the infomorphic. The breakfast bar. Yeah, where is the snack bar? We were promised that there was like a breakfast bar on the ship. <laughs> I took the shortcut. Right, a breakfast bar. Where's the. <laughs> And this time, falling off something didn't you break my limbs. You just got the breakfast bar. I'm hungry. Is this the breakfast bar? bar? All right. Oh, when it was... Everyone, so I'm going to be touching. It's a bit late for breakfast now. Let me touch the consoles on here. I know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> Throw King will be here just in case I blow something up. <laughs> That's fair. I'm guessing That's computers are prone to do that when you're handling them. Man. Shut up. I just have to remember not to charge my electricity and then I don't blow them up. I can't do anything here anyway. So. Take your boss off. <laughs> Make the pro do it. You're not really much of a pro. Oh, doing anything. There's no buttons over here. I'm more of a pro than Treaky. I mean, I he's a robot, this. so. Yeah, still don't trust him. Well, no, said he wasn't. But... <sighs> Granted. I beg your patience, friends. Just a moment. We're waiting for a few more. All right, Jane, it seems like I'm only able to see one that's actually it moving. It should work. I got a good feeling about this. Yes, let's cook up a hearty Gee. meal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, if you guys need to rejuvenate, uh, Captain Panda has his thing out. Yeah, yes. the for the people who he makes delicious meals. Meals. What? Bar when they were supposed to. Uh, no, no, what do you don't crash, no crashing. I, I think Cuffy already fell asleep. I think it was if somewhere back there. Carbon monoxide there. My friend. He's, he's over there. there. Oh. He did. <laughs> Dearest, wonderful, wholesome travelers, your attention, please. If you don't already have world music turned on, I highly recommend you turn it up. <laughs> the figure enters the heart of this space. A powerful engine sleeps before them. I've been here. I've seen this room alive. Their eyes focus on a slot at the center of the console. Still carrying the ether crystal, somehow they hold it up, looking into it. For the first time, the figure sees their own reflection. It's the good thing to do, she says, and places the orange crystal into the engine. Her heart beats once. She remembers. See, didn't blow up. Her heart beats once. The engine ignites. Ba -bum. Her heart beats once. She notices her flight suit. Ba -bum. Doki -doki. Her heart beats once. She remembers the legend. Ba -bum. Once upon a time, there was an invincible vessel. It seemed he wake up. From the depths, it rises. Over the oceans, it shines. Through the skies, it soars. Manifesting through 10,000 stories made real, the legendary ship comes true, and the pilot dashes to the bridge. My friends, this way. You that will never go. Go. When I touch it, Here we go. I am trustworthy <laughs> with machines. Almost. That's what I'm talking about. Breakfast. Uh, breakfast. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah. The pilot did. There's the bar. Yeah. Oh, I can hear the bar. Aluminum and large. Get hungry. Next year, 45. Quickly, everyone hold a piece of toast in your mouth like an anime girl. Into the elevator. Get up, soldier! We are I'm doing leaving. this, and I'm doing it like this. It's going to be too right. good. It's too funny. Hold up, soldier! We are breakfast. lagging. Good navigator. Yeah, you know what? I, oh, that's I, right, the pilot! I, I am not. I like how this giant, <laughs> highly technological... If only we had Birdie with us. Hey, hey Thrill King, do you hey. trust you hey. to fly the ship? Dearest oh, travelers, now, do you, do you trust Gio I hope you're ready for a ride. No. Gather around, the story oh. continues. Oh, this is a ride, alright. <laughs> 
There we go. All right. The mimetic sensors are set off as the travelers enter the bridge. Huh? Someone on my ship. Anomalies on the bridge. Where? I don't see anyone. The sensors say, all around me. Oh, oh, the travelers. It's you, isn't it? Let's see. If I increase the amp range of the ether crystal. Hello, travelers. Can you hear me? Hello, Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, yes. I can hear you. Oh. Oh. I need to amplify my own powers and make sure the connection's stronger. We hear you loud and clear. <laughs> Give us a direction. and yes. we'll do it. I can hear you. Oh, there's so many of you. You really were with me, watching over this whole time. I knew you were real. We always watch. Thank you all so we much. I am the pilot. Welcome to my legendary ship. Okay, travelers, it's about time I got a crew, so listen up. There's a brave little girl out there who needs us. A real nasty thing known as the Dark Monument is making a mess of their world. I made a promise as a pilot that I can't let things like that fly. And I think all of you travelers did too. So how about it? Will you be my crew for the legendary ship? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're with you all the way. No one should be allowed to abuse ether in such a wrong way. Not while I still. Don't worry about the other times where we lost. Let's kick some ass. Thank you, travelers. Yeah. Right then. All right, crew. We're gonna blast that monster out of the sky. To your battle stations. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. It's time to save the day. I call the controls to the huge cannon. Gibbs on the wheel. Oh, dear. I think you did last time. You know how that ended up. My friends, use the pilot the legendary ship save point. No. Oh, hey, look, look, a Here we go. Black inspiration on this shit. All right. Dark Hopefully none of you are just afraid of heights. Well, um, Be careful. that was, um... Hey. Uh, Sage how are you with heights? <laughs> so, that's an actual boss fight. Okay, good. Yep. Also, like I said, this is definitely going to be where you're going to need to start fighting. And you'll know very right, soon. Where are we dropping, boys? Okay. I'm ready. If need... If need be. Three, four, three. <laughs> a j breakfast of yeah. justice. Tactical. got my blades out. I'm ready. In the name of love, Best served I'll with milk. Tactical egg sandwich incoming. Before the might of a fell <laughs> Keep working majestic, Delta Frame. That'll in intimidate the foe. I got this. I got this. Oh, oh, that too. My friends, <laughs> travelers, <laughs> gather around where you can hear. I mean, over here, travelers. Me. And check VR travelers chat right now. The legendary ship flies high and true, closing in on the outpost. In a thunderous flyby, the pilot fires on the gray army. Accepting the challenge, the dark ship of terror rises from the clouds and gives chase. And thus, travelers, your final battle. Airship versus airship begins. Go. All right. Screaming is encouraged. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's fuck him up. Well, I'm in a hotel room. I'll do my best. Yeah. Let's go. No, that just sounds like you've just had a nice hot cup of cocoa. Where's Jamie? I am more than one. Oh, really? Yes. Air to air naval combat. Oh, it's going to be a good one. That's like. That's like. The enemy has decided to flank us from behind. Alright. Stop them from hitting their feet. Oh, oh, the overdrive shift. Oh, oh by the way, shift. that. Don't fall off. That doesn't have a physical. Thing. All right. You can't we have to have overdrive impact. You will fall don't bother. We tried. Overdrive shift, no, I mean. I mean, Delta Frame is not recommended. 
Yep. Overdrive shift. Overdrive shift. Give him the we old have to burn the ship it. with our engines. Overdrive shift. Come on. Delta frame, are you sure you're trying to up. sacrifice yourself as a shield? <laughs> Delta Travelers. Frame, get by our overdrive. Listen carefully. Overdrive shift. The dark monument moves toward the stern, trailing behind the legendary ship. The pilot has 30 seconds to choose from the following actions. Fire torpedo, fire ether cannon, evasive maneuvers, charge up the ether amplifier, heavy artillery, overdrive shift. 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 Overdrive which action will the pilot do? Overdrive shift. Um, are they mute? I think they might I be they mute. Have t they have t uh, TTS. Oh, oh, okay. Yep. Hold on. I will overdrive wait. shift, please. Overdrive shift. I have received your answer. Overdrive shift. Thank you, Kitty. Oh boy, let's kill. The dark monument accelerates to ram the stern, but it is met with explosive fire from the legendary ship's thrusters. Ha ha! Burn to death! That's a crispy ship! Anybody the dark get monument tracked. costs heavy yeah, damage. Let's have, I let's, got let's, s'mores. Let's, yeah, it's a crispy shirt. It's a crispy shirt. That's how you say good trick. Creme brulee. I can secretly I did. stuff some in way, Panda's backpack. Return to the ship. You guys were cocky. <laughs> Tracy! <laughs> God damn it! What a this is a whole Let's turn the dark here. monument oh, into oh, a coffee ship. Oh, nothing, oh, nothing. I fucking heard that. <laughs> What's your next move? You have a majority on it. Nice. <laughs> What's up? No, I'll What's talk your next move, uh, Dark Monument? Right. I'm not putting that in Torvalds. Alright. No, I have a lot of side-facing. Yeah, neither This one... If we're in the position... Oh! Oh, 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 oh yeah! Yes. Alright. Oh, that's yes. bored it. <laughs> heavy artillery! <laughs> heavy oh, artillery! Oh, oh. They're closer! I have no, wait. No, wait. heavy artillery! Oh, 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 the dark okay. monument banks up close, starboard side. The pilot has 30 seconds to choose. Fire torpedo, fire ether cannon, evasive maneuvers. Charge up the ether am 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 amplifier or heavy artillery. 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 Black flame. Every military fiber in my body is going burn. The one-eyed raven. May I call on you? What will the pilot do? Oh, heavy artillery! Heavy artillery! Heavy artillery. Yes. <laughs> Send it. Let the dark <laughs> monument hear us loud and clear. Add some pepper to the egg. A dark monument. Whoa, that's an impressive blaster you've got. The dark call. monument opens fire with its heavy guns, and the legendary ship counterattacks with heavy artillery cannons. Uh -huh. right. Those who don't have weapons, Whoa. use your mighty tomatoes. They're powered with ether. <laughs> I spit in their general. The dark monument takes heavy damage. Back down. I thought it almost got me. Stay away, bitch! <laughs> What's your next move, Doctor? Get off my lawn! I'm firing my laser. 
<laughs> I'm a fire in the sky. My laser. I own a lot of property. All right. Evasive maneuvers. Yeah. The dark Evasive monument maneuvers. dives below the clouds, out of sight. The pilot has 30 seconds to choose. Fire torpedo, fire ether cannon, evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Charge up the ether yeah, amplifier. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. It's going to shoot. Evasive maneuvers. Torrent, you can dodge it. You can charge hyper cannon. Exactly. Evasive maneuvers. That's true. That's true. Don't repeat yourself 20 times. Okay. Once or twice. Let's go. I don't want anyone to sabotage that. I went down there. That way, that way would need to be for everyone. Here, <laughs> we know. Just know that I'm constantly. No, no, no. You don't need no, to I'm, repeat I'm yourself. Kirby, please. Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. Kirby. Kirby. Because I don't know with me, I'll destroy you instantly. Not, uh, not you. Kirby. One of my greatest joys is giving me. travelers exactly what they want. Uh, what will the pilot do? Evasive <laughs> maneuvers! No, okay. All right. All right, guys, get ready to hold on to something. This. Yeah, I don't think we've done this yeah. before. So yeah, 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 boy. Do you want to brace yourself? So, permission granted. Bryce! Yes. Acknowledged. We'll get there. <laughs> Travelers. Oh, get down. My friends, to avoid motion sickness, <laughs> uh -oh. please close your eyes for the next 20 seconds if you feel you are... <laughs> Receptible to motion sickness. Oh, oh. So <laughs> oh, oh to avoid incoming plasma fire from below. Oh my fucking god. I wish I, 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 I could have done this. Oh, 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 oh shit! Yes. Oh god, Nick. Delta frame may need some healing. Oh, oh, you're amazing, Nick. Oh, Holy yeah. shit. My guy, I would be so You are incredible. <laughs> it's you so are incredible. Like, oh god. True legend. Alright, dark magic. You don't really go quite yet. Don't be a martyr. Alright. I'm also up. The battle isn't over. Alright. Let's go. I think I pushed off. Suddenly, the pilot calls out to the travelers. Hello? Travelers! Travelers, yes. listen! I need your help! The sensors are picking up troops mobilizing inside the dark monument. All right, this is they the are going part. to try to, to board us. I can divert power to the ether crystal's field effect for 60 seconds. I won't be able to move the ship, but it should be enough for you to interact with this narrative. Be brave, travelers, and fight. I believe in you. Time to kick some ass. Let's fucking go! In this fight, I could amplify it with some. You approach us? So hard to reach him. Who oh, is on me? <laughs> it's not because of him, but. Well, I think my dad might do it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
there? I can't tell the difference. Head back to the tour guide. Head back to the I think that's the last guide. of them for me. Head back to Sheen, my Come friends. On. Head back to Sheen. Let's go to Taco. Ah! Um, they, they said they didn't think they should be able to maul these guys with their tiny cat claws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> oh, cat claws and that all of them can destroy anything. Absolutely annihilated. That I mean, the cat claws the ultimate <laughs> black mage weapon in mine. Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. <sighs> hey, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you later. I like how uh, Ragnarok really just tired. barely fits right, uh, the the below the airship above us. Let's go back. Yeah, Ragnarok <laughs> just <laughs> just punch up and punch on the <laughs> other way. <laughs> 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 I thought it was getting rusty. <clears throat> oh. Alright, so far so uh, good. Help you by the way. My friends, the travelers defeat the troops <laughs> and successfully protect the legendary ship. Treasure was getting good. Yeah, we should have a chance against us. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, Yay. Uh, yeah. Who needs healing? Uh, I need heal. Sine. I was say, what? I just used slap me with my hand healing right on myself. The dark <laughs> monument goes silent, showing no change in flight path, no activity. Here we go. The pilot has 30 seconds to choose how to react. Fire torpedo, fire ether cannon, charge up the ether amplifier. Charge up ether amplifier. Charge ether amplifier. Charge ether amplifier. Let us charge. Charge. We need to be ready for anything. Right. Suppose the if there's nothing charge happening, charge. this is the best the time to charge. Charge it up. Yes, charge it for amplifier. Charge, charge it up. 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 Charge up our ether amplifier. Black. Seeing the live stream would have a bunch of other dire consequences. Charge up the ether amplifier. I hear the group speaking in unison. I will cut the time short. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, what will the pilot do? Uh, we will charge the ether, ether amplifier. amplifier. Hey. All right. Mm -hmm. Charge the ether amplifier. <laughs> Seizing the opportunity to redirect power, the pilot charges the ether amplifier. Just after she presses the button, she is hit with a sudden mimetic attack. Which knocks her away from the helm. She recovers. It takes back the wheel, and the amp is now charged. <gasps> we ain't gonna let one of the best Pug, pug, pug. It's charged. Huh? Let the best oh. one hear our roar. I think that is for the ether cannon. <laughs> Must be. We're gonna rip them. Yeah, we'll we'll charge. What's yeah, your I, next I move, think, Dark Monument? I can know. I think therefore. And uh, here we go. Oh, I'm yeah. saying. Oh, 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 went to the higher torpedo. It's about to go. Here we go. No, 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 no. No, no, torpedo. No, torpedo. No, torpedo. No, 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 Follow the penguin! Or fire the we only we tried a bunch of stuff and okay. this is the only thing we can Fire the torpedo! Fire the torpedo! Fire the torpedo! Fire the torpedo! Captain, okay, everyone, I need to explain something something new because people are being skeptical. So, um, yeah, 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 okay. When it was ahead of us, like, uh, like straight ahead of us and above us, we tried the torpedo and it didn't work. Now it's over yep. on that side. We didn't try the torpedo when it's on that side. We need to try the torpedo now. 
Yeah, we need okay. to try the torpedo. Right. The narration was also yeah. the, also described the port side. For the clouds. And you're all just yes. Yeah, that didn't clouds. work that well. And that's Fire the way. torpedo. Okay. Alright, so then this would yeah. be the torpedo then? Okay. Correct. By process that is correct. Yes. Yes. Fire yeah. the torpedo. Okay. Alright, yeah. fair enough. Maybe the cannon's right, meant so to be grand I finale. I we tried the <clears throat> torpedoes when it was at the front. I mean, it's a giant freaking cannon. Yeah, I assume so. Right? <laughs> sure. Torpedo. The torpedo. That would be yeah. cool. I mean, so far, the front of the ship is the last thing that they haven't done yet, so... Alright, my game. friends. Loki, may I call on you? What will the pilot do? Fire like torpedo! Fire torpedo! Fire torpedo! Fire torpedo! Fire torpedo! No, we are not Fire torpedo! Fire torpedo! Roki, the choice is yours. Did you say fire torpedo? Yes. Yes. Understood. And if you're wrong, I'll, I'll punch you. Well, oh, no, 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 Oh, it's yes. a homing torpedo. Oh my god, it's a spray. Ah! Oh, 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 shit. Oh, my god. 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 Oh, Alright, Dark Monument, what's your name? have done it. Wait, have we, have we had awesome. a group have done it. That was awesome. Yes, okay. we know. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we designed this ahead of time to be perfect because oh. we figured it out. We got this. Oh yeah. Alrighty, great job. Oh. Oh. I'm coming. I'm happy. Here it comes. Oh. And right on the front. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We won. Not yet. The dark oh, monument. Or so we think. Falls behind before rocketing past the bow. We shall see. You can hide there. Nearly colliding with the legendary ship. Behind everybody. The only option left is to fire the ether cannon. Yes. My friends, let's do it. Fire the ether cannon. Yeah. Heck yes. 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 Whatever the dark monument identifies as. The good ending. We're getting a good ending. Well, hopefully. Maybe not the maybe so. If there isn't still the open ended thing at the end, we haven't figured oh, out. Oh, jeez, that was <laughs> the pilot. The looks over and sees a glass covered red button. She lifts the glass <laughs> and stares at the meter, which signifies the ether amplifier is fully charged. I fucking love red buttons. She activates the ether cannon. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh the dark Ow. monument takes heavy damage. What? Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> right up the backside. 
there goes one of my second levels here. Oh, shit. Here comes the last part, the open ended part that I knew was going to be a problem. Maybe we'll see. The end has come for the end. My friend, this is. Let's hope. Unfortunately, I can't. I swear to God, what if we have to answer that question again? Oh, we God. do. Oh. Don't. What do we Man, say? Man, this Legendary ship is strong enough to hold this mech? That's impressive. What was the story of the pilot? It's called the Legend. It is oh, called the Legendary ship. Sure nothing. Get on the ship. I was oh, it's it's serious. Serious. What the heck? Why uh -oh. is there a ship? That's oh, not a good. No. Oh, no. Not again. Oh, oh, no. 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 Fuck! Well, uh... See you in two weeks! No one knows if you shield us, really. Are you serious? Is. Leo, is this the bad ending? My friends, <laughs> listen carefully. <laughs> the Dark Monuments mech fleet suddenly appears and surrounds the legendary ship. Soon, an enormous ether cannon emerges from below the Dark Ship's deck. Blocked on all sides, the pilot is unsure what to do. Travelers, you have two minutes to answer the open question. Anything is valid. What will the pilot do? There's got to be what, one what, thing. What did we do last time? Uh, yeah. We tried calling the mother for help Maybe and it didn't the pilot work. No. So, what yeah, was they, what they was the up, story right? of the, the pilot from, the very, the, the, from the very beginning? From the very beginning, how does the story go? That we will put our spirits together. Can we be the ones to see? We just understood it ourselves. Oh, no, 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 it's gotta be doing really something that's like we have to descend into a deeper like narrative. That's what I. I either we ascend the narrative or we descend the narrative. I'm gonna stick with that. I guess at least we got. Protag just said, "What if we reached out to the child?" I can't hear you. We talked to the child. I don't know. We talked to the child. I think. We should, we should believe in ourselves. I want to believe in ourselves. Too many ideas. Everybody has an idea. Hold, hold, hold. Hold for the penguin. And then you're gonna probably go up 12. What if we pray to our innermost thoughts and feelings? Oh, that's what I was thinking. Yes. No that one works. That's, believe that's all we have. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. Like, yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Okay, what's our right. yeah, reference in to? Believe in ourselves. Yeah, that's that's true. True. Guys, right, because uh, yeah, that's day monkey. 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 What was that? How did that go? Do you mean the painting? We don't get detail. No, no, no. no the beginning of the pilot, pilot story at the very beginning you know, of the this. actual story. The actual, actual story that they tell in bedtime. <laughs> oh. What was that? Oh, I How did it go? That was from their that's... Our innermost that's... thoughts and feelings. Because it's a good thing that... to do. We don't... Yeah, it's because it's the good thing to do. Thing to do. Guys, yes. Metal Jin had something. Metal Jin said, what about the... wake no, up from no, the no, nightmare? Like, what was... What that? Yeah, we should get to the nightmare from that point. This is a nightmare for the fight. From the beginning. Well, we're not in the nightmare anymore, nightmare. I think. Just we aren't in the nightmare. Are we? I don't think we are either. We could have said. We've manifested into the world. I'd say let's wake up from the nightmare. I like the believing idea. Okay. Oh, kind of yeah, it's in ourselves. Because of the beginning, the beginning hopefully. I, at least in this context. Because of the well, beginning of the story. Something about you know. Yeah. yeah. But we need to do something. So and oh. the ether crystal powering the ship oh, yeah, is orange. Cheese, thereby, it won't work. Oh, that's bad. That powers the ship. Yeah. Uh, that's that's bad bad to to the ship. Using the ether crystal last time. Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing to do. What they're saying is that we need to hope because that's this color of the crystal that we need to believe in us. It's a good thing. Yes. Okay, we need help. Believe in the you that believes in you. 
Hey, Dante. Yeah, believe in you. We haven't come oh, this yeah. far. Sorry, to I die think now. that they got in the way. We oh, believe in ourselves. It's a good thing to do. Yes. It's either they us or them. Them. Okay, all right. We believe that we will win this. We have the hope. Oh, 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 if our hope is still there, we can still destroy it. We already know this. I pay your attention, dearest travelers. Listen carefully. The choice will go to a veteran. Metal Gen, what will the pilot do? Oh, okay. Please. Hope. Hope is our weapon. Say it, the say the word, that Sophia. Pray to your innermost we thoughts and hope. feelings. There it is, everyone! Pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings! We shall pray. Oh, the armor sounds so good. Our innermost thoughts and feelings. Oh, the armor sounds so good. Oh, the armor sounds so good. Oh, the armor sounds so good. Episode 1, we're not going to understand the reference. We have to believe. This ain't over yet. I'll blame you. What'd you say? Believe in me. Hope. I'll blame you. Pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings. Is that right, Metal Gen? Yes. That is correct. That's a reference from Season 1, Episode 1, we're not going to understand. The pilot hears you in her thoughts, and she thinks back. Pray to my innermost thoughts and feelings, she thinks to herself. I've heard this before, but what does it mean? All I can think about is a mother, my mother? Where is she? Should I, should I call to her? But before yes. she can finish the thought. Oh God. No, her no, sensors no. pick up enough ether charging no. to. What? Huh? Hey. No, not like this. This can't be the end. No, no, I know no, I won't no, remember no. you, but travelers. Remember my words from this passing. No. Don't lose hope. Oh boy. Please help me. We have to save her. I'm going to deny. Don't lose no. hope. No. Oh. Please help oh. oh. me. Oh. 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 Fuck. Oh. Damn it. See you in two weeks. Tip. See you in two weeks. Sad. Damn it. That fucking blow. Built a frame, took the brunt of the blast. Oh. Oh, what? It, it was incinerated what, what in it. What said. How was that? I think it My did friends. have something to do with the mother's <laughs> mech. We have to clear the mother's mech if we want to get the good ending. That would be most uh -huh. unfortunate if that's the case. My god. Anyway. Well, aren't you up to the challenge? Mm. The legendary <laughs> ship burned from the inside out, spirals out of the sky towards the earth. My friends. Please use the broken save point. If it's broken, how do we use it? Fuck. We got everything right. We got everything right. We can figure it out a whole other It doesn't even matter. Almost everything. Yep. Apparently. This is so. We're gonna get the neutral ending forever. Good all in the world. world. We like that sometimes. The good ending. Ah, then the only story is just gonna continue on for a couple of years. Oh, we're just going in there. This time. I think we learned some incredible information in the next life. I blame Gio. Find peace. No, no, don't blame Gio. At least we can take this to Connor and Gio for this mess. No, I had nothing to do with this mess. This is Jay Monkey. It's not his fault either. Do not blame me for this. What did we learn, Jay Monkey? It's no one's fault. We just need to figure out the exact We learned that the pilot is the daughter. Oh, trust me. Have you made this bad? True. And in order to get the good ending, it's the tied to the mother. Continues. Very dead now. The sky burns over a dead ship. A false legend. The magenta mech lies defeated, with the sobbing daughter inside, clinging to her mother. The gray soldiers pull her off the woman's lifeless body. She cries for mama, for anyone to hear. And someone does.
Sophia. You live a life of false causality, a prisoner of fiction that was never meant to be. Foolish you are to waste your power here. Dream not for what is unwritten, but instead for what was erased. Allow me to rid you of these corrupt false gods that observe us. The gray soldiers drop dead, releasing the daughter. The little girl falls unconscious as black crystal forms around her, cracking as it grows to encase her forever. Dream for me, Sophia. Dream of a dark place out of their sight. A place that begins the end of causality. And relinquish your power unto me. Dude, that is so it's good. Monster, big mech oh, buddy. Bro. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Does it break your heart when I kill your characters? Do you feel sure they will be alive when you return? Whoa. <laughs> Does it scare you when I speak through your guides? Does it unsettle you that they obey and say my lines? Whee. Do you grow uncertain of where I'm speaking from? Surely you feel safe from me behind your avatars and headsets. Surely a demon in a story can't hurt you. And to hell we go. Now my place. Oh, how did I get to my house? <laughs> ah, home again. <laughs> Travelers. Travelers, this... This is wrong. This place. We are not supposed to be here. Everyone. Everyone run. How about not running? Um, yeah. Yeah. Whatever run. will we fucking run. 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 run? Oh no, bro! Run. Oh no, bro! <laughs> what you think you do oh. with the strap? I don't go oh, no. <laughs> money out! Eat me. You, there is a sweet Fast spot. enough. I don't go so, why is my ex here? What the fuck? Is that part? Is that part? Is that part? I literally don't know what's next. I was trying to think that too, yeah. Even if we did get all these going on now, we also need to have to get the right amount of money. Why not? Yeah, I think that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. No! You like it? Oh no. Because why else would she. Travelers. Do not. Travelers. Exactly. Welcome. Yeah. To the okay. void. Welcome to the end of everything. Welcome to the bad ending Again. of the pilot. Again. 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 Dang. again. And again. again. Yes, don't and forget again. the again part. Again. And again. And again. Again. We'll do it next time. This monster has gone too no, far. We'll and again, again. They've killed our beloved Protag. Again. And he's still afraid. <laughs> Six months. While you're all recovering from this, I would like to ask. Well, first, congratulations on again getting through the bad ending of the pilot. That's <laughs> 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 all. Yeah, we should have hired him. Don't worry. We know all the correct answers. I'm not crying. You're crying. I grabbed a handful of my friends. Just stand aside. I would like to. Take a commemorative photo, and I will ask the group where you would like to take this group photo together. But first, before I do that, I would like to say thank you to my fellow tour guides, Trajim, Rendizo, and tonight's NPCs, Luna, and Ether Memento. A grand performance that was. Well done. Like to solve. 
for this mess. Let's go! That was a good Alizu impression you did there. Put your hands together for the world creator, Pimon Nick, one, two, three. That was sick, those animations, though. Where is the... He actually did a barrel roll. Multiple barrel rolls. Actually, no, it's an aileron roll. My friends, we are VR travelers. We create wholesome story-based tours every Saturday. We do this for free. We do this for you. We do this for fun. However, we do ask one thing in return. Please join our Discord if you haven't already. There, post the photos or a comment from tonight's tour. Also, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this, you can help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds by supporting us on Patreon. Our Patreon is only $3 per month, and joining grants you eligibility to play character roles in our tours, like the NPC Dream Eaters of tonight. There's also many other things in our Patreon for you to check out. The link to our Patreon is in the info channel in the Discord. Oh, and the Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Well then, may I ask all of you, where would you like to take a group photo? Hmm. Why not uh, like off to above to that broken mech. flaming broken mech, yeah. Hmm. I think we can't go yeah, there Because we kept getting the bad ending over oh. and over and over, it's only fitting, right? Mm. If we're yeah. able to go back. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, the floor has disappeared and we will be unable to stand there and take a photo. Is that right, Nick? Oh, the There's a flaming broken neck yeah. next to it. Uh, I'm standing right here next to it. I look like I've yeah. broken enough. Like, yeah. 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 Ragnaros looks like he's yeah. yeah. broken neck. I've taken one there before. A hard door. Why not? How about the hard door? The rainbow. How about the city? Actually, yeah. Ragnaros over there looks like a broken neck. We could use him for the background of the photo. That's a good spot. Friends, listen carefully. I'm going to explain to you how to get there quickly. Step one, you're going to use the fast travel menu to travel to the outpost. Step two, walk through the outpost to where the flutter save point was before, next to the magenta mech, if you remember. Wait for me there, and I will take us all. Fast travel now to the outpost. Uh, right hand above oh, head. and you're oh, hoping to be a background. Yeah. I'm upset. and disappointed. Oh, well. I want you on, I if you're in desktop mode, press cell. tab to open up the menu. Ah. Yeah. Then fast travel to the outpost. I'm so sad. I could have been a cool background. We've been on this tour for oh. so. We've done this. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Okay. Okay. In front of the tree. In the void. Void. UV mapping is fun. That goes a lot when I say that word, huh? I know. This is pain. This is very much pain. We're so close. Yeah. We lost two good days. We're, it's gonna be right, like so we get the agent and the pilot good what? endings in sync. Oh, Alright, so ironically, we only really have taller I people not, than though. lower. Mm. Actually, really? Maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna be a yeah, foot in this picture. Invisible stars. That makes me happier than it probably should. Woman, this. Yeah. I'm gonna be a leg. <sighs> You're just Corey. doing that a lot these days, are you? Alright, friends, may I ask who would like to be our photographer today? Oh, who is? Uh, where's a good place for me to... Also, color people in the see. Because uh, can I get over um, Squeeze here real quick. How front uh, is front? There's a big I... slope. Yeah. I don't Usually, know. Class if we photos, go too far, and back, where I should stand. Front, or yeah. My friends, people in front of me are... I mean, I could do it. I keep avatars on all the time. 
All right. I can do it. Back. Yeah, Or Geo. Okay. Okay, let me get into... Why not both? Oh, it looks like Geo's already doing it. Geo's doing it? I guess Geo's doing it. I better make sure my my good side's facing. I think I'm visible. Oh, who am I kidding? I, they're all good sides. <laughs> you can see about the you're probably fine. Well... Alright, friends. What do we say on the count of three? Sorry. Uh, why? frustration. Bad ending. We say why. We say why. Bad ending. Why? Unending. I have a question for God. Why? 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 We say pew. Why? Everyone, so everyone cool with why? Everyone cool with why? why? Yep. why? Yes. Why? Yeah. Why? 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 Uh, why? Despair. Jay, I mean, not Jay. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Is my face yeah. filled with fear? Why, well, Luigi? I have one question for you, Oh, you're, fi you're filling me with fear. <laughs> this is my first year. I'm asking you serious, but... Does it got the white eyes? One, two, three... I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know.